I want to duel you. You like want to duel me? You're so getting on my last nerve. I apologize for doing that. <laughs> it just came naturally as soon as I read like in the sentence. <laughs> and her deck is called Too Funny. 505 difficulty? Okay. I am not underestimating her deck at all based on what it's called. Nice! I always like Big Eye. What is this card? What, what is that card? She has fusion types. Okay, I can use. I can start off by using Shield Crush. Ooh! Buster Blader! Okay, let's use Shield Crush. Destroy that face down defense position monster. Poof! What was it? 1800 defense points. Switch the original attack and defense of this card each time a spell card is activated. <laughs> no thank you. What does this card do? When a face-up insect monster is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, its controller can add one insect type monster with the same level as the destroyed monster to their hand. Okay, so if I destroy her insect type, she's gonna be able to get another one to her hand. Okay, all right. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing good tonight. Security orb. This is a safety card. Hmm. I could make use of Dark Valkyra's ability. And I can pretty much make sure that its effect will be activated next turn because of this trap card. It lets me change the battle position of a monster trying to attack me. And when I activate its flip effect next turn... Oh, Monster Reborn. Okay, so that's 1800. 2100? What? You can only declare an... A Whoa! No! You revealed my card! Ugh. Its effect is now cancelled. Thank you for that. Ooh! This is actually not a bad thing. If she, if he, if she keeps on activating spell cards, I can special summon Buster Blader without sacrificing any monsters. Problem is, though, I might have to get him on the field in a, in a natural way. Also, I can't attack. So... Let me... Okay, we're putting this in defense mode. Ooh, bacon. Yummy. This monster's attack is 1800. He's obvi she's obviously not going to attack me with the monster that has the equal attack points as me. She's not going to do that. And she still has it in defense mode. So I'm counting on this one to try to attack me so I can block it. But if she summons another monster, I'm not going to be able to summon Buster Blader next turn. I'm hoping I can. I wish I could have attacked. That would have been much better. Okay, so one turn is gone. Please don't summon any monsters, please. Please, 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 please. Attack, attack, attack. Oh, uh, yes, yeah, okay. Oh, that monster can't attack. You know what? You can attack me. You can't destroy this card. <laughs> okay, so the other monster that she has is not allowed to attack. I need to read why. Ooh, that's a spell card. I'm tempted anyway to use its ability. What does this do? You can only declare an attack with this card during a turn when your opponent has activated the effect of a spell, trap, or monster. Never mind. We're getting this thing on the field right now. It can attack, but it's just there to assert dominance. There we go. Next turn, we're gonna use Big Eye so that we can take a peek 
at the next five cards that we're going to draw and see if we can arrange them in the beneficial order. You got nothing? Perfect! <laughs> oh, Bombardment Beetle! I can pick up and see one face down position monster card, and if it's an effect monster, I can destroy it. Nice card to have. Okay. Um, next turn, I'm going to destroy those monster cards. So I can afford to summon this. Now again, this card cannot attack unless I activate a spell card or a monster card effect. Since I won't, it's not going to attack me. And she's not dumb enough to attack me with the one that has equal attack points to me. No monsters? <laughs> oh, she is going to attack me. Really? Right, because this card loses 500 attack points if it gets attacked. Okay, we're flipping it to defense mode. I'm not... Whoa, 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 whoa. Did that cancel my attack, my effect? Oh. Well, I don't mind. Okay. Wow. She has quite a couple of monsters on the field. Perfect. Okay. I am going to make use of this card's flip effect. While I take care of the other monsters on the field. We are going to attack first with this one to bait that trap card just in case it's dangerous okay we're good it's safe now that effect is gonna activate so she can get another one from her deck to her hand same goes for any other insect monster I destroy she's gonna bring it bring it one with a similar level back to her hand no she doesn't have any more now, of course, in anticipation, uh, if I go with 700 attack points, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be fine. We're doing this for safety. That way, no one can try attacking it. <laughs> Perfect. So now, they're gonna have to attack my face down card. Which will let me destroy her face down card because I know it's an effect monster. Well, crap. Uh, I can pay 500 life points to put that card back at the top of my deck. Yes! I have plans for this card. <laughs> It's not going to be in the big eye effect anyway. You sure you want to summon that card in attack mode? Damn, she flipped it! No! I mean, wait. Oh, 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 she's going to single summon. 2200 attack points. Ah. Uh, well, that's going to hurt. Well. Everybody can synchro summon. I need to remember that. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what we got. Malevolent Muzzler. I'm going to... We're using Big Eye. I'm keeping this in my hand. Okay, let's get rid of that card, shall we? It looks adorable. It's like a cute little tiger. <laughs> I like these new cards. These new cards are very cool. But yeah, again, like everybody in this game early on has a good deck that can beat you. Like I I'm amazed compared to how Spirit Caller was. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Okay, we got some nice cards here. Uh, 
for safety, I'm gonna put bottomless trap hole first. Then I want more monsters on the field, so I'm gonna put Ghost Garden as second. And then Magical Arm Shield. Then Magic Cylinder. I mean, not Magic Cylinder, Magic Jammer. And this one. We're gonna go safe. Okay, here we go. Now that monster is in attack mode. So it's going to definitely do some good damage to her life points. Okay, she summons anything higher than 1500 attack points, it's gone. Try me. Oh, that's 1000 attack points. Oh, oh, perfect, perfect, yes. Bring that on the field so I can get rid of it. <laughs> now your life points are free for a direct attack. <laughs> uh, awesome. Oh boy. Now I'm scared. Hmm. I kind of want to bait whatever card that is with Dark Geroid because I can. <gasps> no, 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 no. I forgot about that. This game has that annoying mechanic where if a monster in its effect says you can select one face up monster on the field. If you have a face up monster on the field, it makes you do it on your monsters. That's something that in reality does not happen. So I kind of dislike that because it forces you to do something to your own monster when you're just trying to do something. Okay, I think it's safe. I'm just gonna lose some life points next turn, but that's fine. Okay, 3500 life points left. We're in a good position, finally. The World Tree. Each time a plant type something 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 something. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, I wanna read that card. Perfect, magic arm shield. Set this card face down. This is going in the fence mode. Thank you very much. Okay, let's read this. Each time a plant monster on a field is destroyed, place one flower counter on this card. You can remove it to activate one of the following effects. One, remove... Okay, stop talking, I'm reading! Remove one face of plant type monster. Oh, wait. Oh, remove one counter and then one face up plant monster will gain 400 attack and defense until the end phase. Remove two, you can destroy one card in the field. Remove three, you can select a plant type monster from your graveyard and special summon it. Okay. Um, well, she's gonna get one spell counter right now because I will destroy one of her monsters. So if it's a plant type, it's an insect, so it doesn't work. Okay. So she has an insect plant type deck. Alright. Nice cards though, I like it, I like it. It's very dangerous though, because any opponent can synchro summon, which is dangerous. <laughs> like, I lost last time because of someone that synchro summoned out of the blue. Okay, I can I think it's safe to say that I can activate this now to destroy that defense monster because I know it's an effect type. Yeah, bye bye. Okay. If I equip this with Malevolent Nuzzler 
it's going to become just enough to win the game right now. So, question is, are we allowed to attack? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, perfect. All right, victory. These duels are long. <laughs> oh my god. How many dual points am I getting? 294! Oh my god, this is higher than when I played Spirit Color. This is so lame. It's like I'm totally ticked off. Oh, who cares? I mean, you're never gonna see me again. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> awesome! Okay, second duel. And there is a person over here. Is there anybody else over here that I can duel before I... There's two people I can duel here. Okay. I'm not gonna save. I'm brave. I like how they can move me. Let's duel. But yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. You bet! I'll take you on in a duel or any other challenge. Well, luckily it's just a duel. It's on! Two victories, 532 Egyptian Vacation. His difficulty is a little bit higher than the other two. I get to finally start first, so that's good. Okay. Let's see what deck he has. He doesn't have Synchro Summons, which is good for me. I started nice! Okay! Okay! Now this is a nice start. We are putting this face down as bait. And we are going to get X-Head Cannon on the field. Okay! Nice balanced start. I like it. We can work with this. Canyon! Rock-type monsters get a boost. If they are, wait a minute, if a rock type monster is in defense mode and is attacked, you double the battle damage the controller. Oh. I mean. I don't like that. <laughs> so, we're getting rid of it. Bye. That's a good investment. Yeah, I can, I can put enemy controller face down, that way I can quickly use its effect if I need it right now. Two emergency quick play spell cards. Perfect! No! <laughs> I was so going to attack his life points. Man... I don't mind, I guess. It's better than that field spell card being on the field. Okay. We still have this, so that we can use it whenever. Not right now. Um, let's get Fossil Tusker on the field. And that's pretty much all I can do right now. <laughs> For the next two turns. Deslacuda! Ooh, you can flip this card once per turn, and whenever you do successfully flip it, you, he can draw a card. That's gonna be a good advantage for him for the next two turns, because I will get rid of that card. Eh, I'm gonna have to destroy it. As much as I don't want to, I don't want him drawing cards, it's gonna be advantageous for him. So, we're using it. Bye. You only get to benefit one time. That's it. Okay, so we now have three super strong, decent cards on the field. We just need to make sure those trap cards are safe to attack against. One more turn, and we are going to do a lot of damage. 
I think for safe, I think it's safe to say I can make use of its effect next turn now because I have enemy controller. If someone were to attack it, bye bye card. Summon a monster. Summon a monster. Summon a monster. Or that. Wait, really? What? Okay. I don't judge. Oh. Did he just. Rude. Uh oh. Oh. He has the Sphinx cards. Oh, God. Okay, I guess I didn't really lose my monster. I got it back. Okay. I'll take that. Keep using cards. I don't mind if you waste cards. That's good for me. Okay. We're gonna destroy that card. Uh, let's see. If I get 700 attack points boost, it's gonna be 100 less. So we're gonna have to use enemy controller on it. Change the battle position of your opponent's monster. Gain control of one of your opponent's monsters. Change the belt. Okay, yeah. You are going in defense mode. Flip one face-up monster on the field. Into face-down mode. You just wasted your card to do the same thing that my card was supposed to do to it, except flipped it. I mean... Thank you, you wasted that card. Okay! Oh my god, I can't attack. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Ooh! This is a good thing. We're flipping this. Alright. We're flipping this card so that we can make use of its effect. Because its effect is very weird. We activate its effect. It gets a spell counter on it. Which gives it 300 attack. What? 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 Uh, um... Sure... Okay, I... Uh... <laughs> I don't know why he did that, but that helped me because now I can attack and... I can successfully... Wait, was Heracle Sphinx right over... Yeah, it was right there. I can destroy that card easily. And... Oh, it counts as a summon, so I guess I can't use the Psychic Synchro Summon until next turn. Okay. I, I don't know what went wrong in the programming of that card. But I'm now able to attack. <laughs> so that card is destroyed. He's gonna lose 400 life points. I'm gonna destroy the worm. And now I'm going to do a good amount of damage to his life points, because for some reason he chose to destroy his Nightmare Steel Cage <laughs> in retaliation to my monster card's effect. I am okay with this. So now, he's gonna draw one card at a time. I am at a huge advantage, because look at my field. So I think it's safe to say that we got this duel. In the bag! What do you got? You have a strong defensive monster, I have Rush Recklessly waiting to be activated. That works as well. Now, I don't want to end this duel without Synchro Summoning, so we're gonna Synchro Summon. We are gonna Synchro Summon our lovely Psychic Life Trancer. 
we tribute this and this and get it on the field. Woo! I don't need to activate its effect because I have 8,000 life points. I don't need more. <laughs> Alright, nice duel, nice duel. I had a good feeling from the moment I saw my hand at the beginning. You can tell a lot by just how you start. It was good. The cards were good. They cooperated with me. Three wins! Yay! Improvement over the first episode. Definitely. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep farming dual points in the meantime as well. How'd you like that? I lost on purpose. Oh, really? Sure. <laughs> okay, this person down here. Oh, it's a woman. Oh no, oh god, I, I saw the hair, I thought it was a woman. You wanna get a taste of just how powerful I am, huh? Oh boy. He looks like a junkie. 535 difficulty. Yeah, it, from the looks of it, you are the strongest opponent so far on the streets. Okay! But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. He has Synchro Fusions. I have a Synchro Fusion monster in my hand and... I can work with this hand. Yes! I can Synchro Summon safely if nothing happens. Okay, we're placing these cards face down for safety. And we're gonna summon X Head Cannon. Now I don't want to lose this card. And I have Dust Tornado. Uh, I feel like it's gonna get destroyed and. I want to be safe. I want to be safe. I need I need more monster cards in my hand before I just do that. Ooh. 2100 attack points. Wait, 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 what happened there? It has 2500 attack points. Okay. 2500 because of that card that he's tributed, I was so close to just destroying this card altogether. Um, Kunai with Chain, 500 attack points boost. Can I activate Rush Recklessly as well? I'm supposed to activate Rush Recklessly. Yes I can. Okay, we got the card destroyed. Because I don't want to lose this card. <laughs> Bye. Outplayed. Okay, that's it. Doesn't have any cards on the field. Now, I'm going to take a guess. Uh, this one. Oh, that, that was a... What was that? It was a mirror force! I guessed right! Okay, that was a mirror force. Ooh. Alright. We're gonna get this on the field. This monster at the moment with Kunai with Chain is 100 attack points less than my Synchro. But. But, 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 but. We're putting this in the fence mode. Because he had Mirror Force. I want to see if the other card is also dangerous. Magic Cylinder. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I am so glad I attacked with this card. Now. Main Phase 2. Can I still Synchro Fusion? Synchro Summon? Yes, I can! Woo! 
Yay! Now this is the fun part. Because of this fusion, I get 1200 life points back. Which means that was a nice... That was worth it because I only lost 200 life points in reality because of this effect. Where if I remove from play a psychic monster, I get 1200 life points back. So yay! All is good! Alright, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. So we got rid of two super, super dangerous trap cards. Mirror Force and Magic Slinger. Cards that I want in my deck. So, I'm still gonna be cautious because... You never know. Unfortunately, I don't have any monsters to gamble with. So, I'm not gonna risk attacking just yet. But... Yeah, no, 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 no buts. I, 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 I don't, I can't risk. Knowing he had those two dangerous trap cards, I want to be cautious. I'm just gonna wait for a monster and then I will bait. Raging, he has a fire type deck. Oh, what are you doing? You can attack my life points directly? This card can attack your opponent's life points directly. Each time this card successfully attacks, it gains 1,000 attack points. Well... That can be dangerous. So let's change its battle position so it can't attack. That can be dangerous if I let it let it go. So I need a monster. Perfect! Kelback will do. Because right now we are baiting trap cards. So I I I'm hoping it's not another mirror force, I swear. Please. Whew. Okay, it's safe. It is safe. All right. Yeah, he's a he's a pyro deck. Nice. Now to make sure this monster doesn't get destroyed next turn, because I still want to be cautious, we're gonna give it a 700 attack points boost. All right. So now we have two strong cards on the field with a good trap card for safety. We're, I think we're in a good position here. I'm gonna spend a lot of hours playing this game because these duels are nothing like Spirit Caller. I would have finished dueling so many people compared to how this game is based on just how good everyone's deck is at the beginning of the game. Like, I would have prop in, in the, the last the last three duels that I won, in those last three duels I would have probably beaten a regular duelist probably six times to seven times. Like that's just how crazy the difficulty level is. I like it, I like the challenge. Okay, so his deck is based off of weak pyro effect types, which are dangerous. What is that now? Oh, <gasps> you didn't. Now you activate that card? Oh, you fooled me into thinking it was safe. Damn. I lost 2400 life points. Ah, uh, that's it? No, <laughs> come on, what is it with you people? Oh hey, you forced me to activate my effect on your effect monster, so bye-bye, get out of here, get that shit out of, out of the field, thank you. Okay, that was worth it. <laughs> Every player I faced has Swords of Revealing Light, I am so jealous. I'm keeping this in my hand because I know I can't attack and I know if I keep it face up they will attack it okay so right now we're in a good position he's just gonna draw one card at a time that's it has nothing else in his hand so uh, if I draw something if I draw dust tornado again that would be great oh this is good Okay, one more turn. 
and then we're gonna do some good damage. Come on. <gasps> no. Oh wait. Oh, okay, that's fine. Ooh. <gasps> no. <laughs> okay. All right. Now this is a fun effect of this card because if it gets destroyed. I get to select the card on the field that I want to destroy. Also, I can bring back my spell card, and I will, so we're gonna do that. Man, Heavy Storm too. I was like, okay, my field is safe. Nope. My spells and trap cards aren't. <laughs> well, that's fine, that's fine. I now have a much better hand, I have a bunch of monsters to work with, and one of them is a tuner type, which means I can synchro summon Gaia the Fierce Knight. It's, that's not his name, but I can synchro summon right now. Level 4, level 3, hang on. Oh. Wait, one tuner and one non-tuner monster. This is a tuner type. This is a non. Wait, why can't I synchro summon it? Huh. Okay then. This card is in face of attack mode. He has two new trap cards. I'm kind of scared. Uh. Okay. I hope it's not another mirror force. Okay, we're good. Why couldn't I why couldn't I sink with someone there though? That's that's really strange. I had enough levels. It would have been level seven, or did it actually does it actually have to Oh, not again! I lose. God, stop that! You're killing me here! My god! I, lo I lost 2400 life points twice now because of that damn card! Jesus! Stop! Jeez! Now I'm in danger. You, you better stop activating trap cards. Oh my god, no. He's going to save it for my strongest attacking card. Uh, this sucks. I mean, he used two, so technically... Okay, we're using this. So that we can do some damage. This is 2300 attack points. 2400 attack points. The only thing that's safe is this. I swear to god, if I end up losing this duel because of trap cards, I mean, we lose life points. Let me see if I can get the coin toss right. If I can, I can destroy one trap card. Please. Uh, cease. Uh, oh. Spirit Reaper! What? Uh, didn't I just say I better not lose this duel because of a stupid fucking trap card that makes me lose life points? You bitch! Come here! I'm gonna duel you again! My god! I lost because he had, I don't remember what the fuck that card does, but he had Spirit Reaper, and because he had a, uh, an effect card, I lost 2,000 life points. What an ass! I, he literally won because of three trap cards that make me lose life points, and he chooses them wisely. So, it's convenient for me to not have monsters that are stronger than 2,000 attack points on the field. So that way at least it's gonna be not that bad. Get get that monster away. 
He's already shown that he has weak monster cards. They're just effect type. Oh, Spirit Reaper. Yeah, no. Uh-uh. Come on now. Okay, so... I'm gonna get Fossil Tusker on the field. I'm not equipping anything. Is it Mirror Force? I must bait it. I'm okay, alright, that, that's a safe trap card, no problem. Because I was attacking twice now with monsters below 2000 and he chose not to activate it, but he activated it when I attacked with the strongest card on my field. So it may be that card, who knows, but I'm not gonna take that risk. Uh, okay, alright, 1800 attack points. We're not using any of these cards right now because none of them are beneficial. Okay, any card I destroy with this card makes him lose 400 life points. I gotta beat him quick. You gonna activate it? Or are you saving it for something else? Okay, he is. Okay, so far so good. If he lets me do this again one more time, I'm gonna win. Oh boy, there it is. Okay, well this is where we're gonna be careful. Magic Jammer, not bad. Okay, I'm going to flip this in case it's a Mirror Force, that way only one monster gets destroyed on my field. Uh... Oh, I guess it was safe. I mean, better safe than sorry. I have protection for this card if it, if it gets attacked, but I don't think it will. Okay, that's fine. We're going to change the battle position so that my monster can remain unharmed. Oh, there it is. Okay. What did that do? Did that cancel something I did? Oh, I lost 1000 life points. Yeah, he, his deck is just based on burning my life points. That's a new trap card. I was able to attack with the other one. So, we're going to try. <laughs> uh, if I summon this and it gets destroyed. It's best I do this instead and then summon it at the end. Is it? Is it? The Metro Wall, there it is. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine, no problem. We're getting a little boost here. Next turn, he's going to lose. 2300 damage. So if I chose to summon this monster, I would have actually won right then and there. But that's fine, we can beat him next turn. That trap card is safe to attack against, so if he sets anything new, that's when we gotta worry. Ah! Can't you not stop? Can't you fucking stop setting trap cards down? Every turn he has a trap card, Jesus. Ah, oh, God. I swear, it better not be- I'm, I'm switching one of them, just in case it's Mirror Force, that way I will have two monsters on the field still. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. We got it out of the way. He's managing to stall quite a bit. 
Ah, <sighs> Jesus. Monster Reborn. Spirit Reaper! That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I have I have a card for you, don't worry. Oh. Oh. I I still have a card for you. Don't worry. Oh yeah. Hang on. When this card is chosen as an attack target, you can tribute any other saber monster to negate the attack. Do I have a saber? Oh, I do have a saber monster. I didn't even notice. I tribute it and I cancel the attack. Hmm. I mean, either way, I am gonna keep one of my monsters on the field. Okay, so now it's safe. So I got a monster even better. Okay. 2100 attack points. When I attack a monster, I automatically get 300 attack points. So 2100, 2100. To make it hurt, I'm going to half his attack points and add it on to my attack points. So 2850. And then I'll equip it with a level in Nuzzler. <laughs> I swear that better not be a, another one of those damn trap cards. I'm gonna be really sick of that shit. No. Are you kidding me? 2000 again, but it's fine. I won. What a bitch! Jesus, just lose! Damn! He, I knew he was saving a bullshit card. Based on my effect and his effect monsters on the field. Fuck off. I'm glad I didn't lose enough life points. Jeez. Okay. Four wins, one loss. Sure, I've been humiliated, but I'll get over it. I'm gonna make it big and become a superstar. Sure. Okay, so we have defeated everybody in this area before going south to the next area of the game. My god. These, like, seriously? <laughs> These duels are so long. I'm gonna go to the card shop in a bit. I, I'm. My deck is. I, I still think I started really well with the cards that I got initially compared to any other Yu Gi Oh! game. But these guys are making it seem like I literally started with any other stupid deck, like every other Yu-Gi-Oh game. Because of how good they- how good of cards they have. Oh, there's a save point here. What can I buy right now? I'm going to buy some stuff, okay? I have like... I would say a good 20 minutes left. Okay, 1858 dual points. This is a new pack. These packs still have some good cards in them that I need, but let's take a peek at what we have going here. Insect Knight, that's a strong offensive monster, 1900 attack points, level 4. Each time a beast type monster in the field is destroyed, this card gains 500 attack points. No. Penalty game. When your opponent has four cards in their hand, select and activate one of these effects. 1. Your opponent cannot draw during the next draw phase. 2. Your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards this turn. Oh, you know, based on the decks that I've seen these people have, if I draw this card somewhere in, in like the second or third turn it would help me out because I can negate them from activating spells or trap cards that turn or I can negate them from drawing cards either way it's a nice kind of card for me to have and what is this flame ruler this card can be treated as two tributes for Ooh, this is like the Trojan horse but for fire type nice 
Okay, nice, nice, nice. This is kind of like one of those fire decks, I think. <gasps> is that Silent Magician level... Silent Swordsman level 5? Ooh! I like these types of cards. Uh, until the end of this turn? Nope. Mm, nope. Okay, Insect Knight, I'll take it. And this trap card. And just like that, I unlocked 21% of this pack. Wow. Okay, let's go back to these two packs. These two packs have really good cards in them. Where I go two each. Charity excitement. Wow, that was exactly the amount of time. So for each card, I got two. That's good. Masker Blutel Shining Abyss, Feral Imp. Trap Hole! Yeah! Okay, I like the classic Yu Gi Oh pack. Gravekeeper Servant. I got a piece of Exodia. Also, Dark Sage. This is a card I'm going to have a lot of fun with. Every time they attack me, they discard the top card from their deck to the graveyard. Nice! I'm finally getting some good spell and trap cards because I need those for my deck. For now, my monsters are fine. Spear Dragon! Yes! What is this? Serpentine Princess. If this face-up card is returned from the field to your deck, select one. Select and special summon a level one, a level three, a lower monster. Nah, that's good defense though. But no, no, no. Spear Dragon. A legendary ocean. Ooh. I got Spirit Message N, Spirit Message A, I think I also have one of those other letters, I think I have three of them so far. Mm, nah. Altar of Tribute, Adhesion Travel, another Exit Cannon. Oh, dark magic attack. Guardian Angel Joan. When this card destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you gain life points equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster. I am very, very tempted to make this my new strong card and get rid of Buster Blader because you know having seen the decks that I've seen so far any bit of extra life points will help me also while I'm really light when you activate this card pay any multiple of 1000 life points none of your opponent's monsters with an attack equal to or less than that can attack not bad not bad at all you can activate this card when your opponent declares an attack. Select one random card from your hand. If it is a monster card, special summon it on your side of the field. Oh, oh, that's a bad gamble. I don't want to just—I don't want to lose a card from my hand. I will sit on this option for a second. Garden Angel Joan, it's not bad. The thing is, I think I have one of those monster cards that can be treated as two tributes for light. I'm not sure. I need to check that. But the other thing is, I have two ways of getting Buster Blader on the field. Special summoning, or with the help of the skilled White Magician. So, I'll think about it, but it's not a bad card to have. Oh, Arm Dragon! I love Arm Dragon! I got level 7 and 3. They're so situational, but I like them. This one is good. This will be my monster reborn for now. I can come back with two normal monsters from my graveyard to my hand. I don't have a lot of normal monsters now that I think about it, but 
Hey, it can help. Nest dragon. <gasps> Horus. Wait, is it Horus? It's Horus! Nice! I love these cards. I will. I would so make a deck just dedicated to these two types of cards. Horus the Black Flame Dragon and Arm Dragon. I would so do it. I need the I need the other ingredients. Not bad. Not bad. Good investment. I am happy with this. Let's add these cards into my deck. Yeah, see this? Looking at my deck, I do not have a lot of normal monsters. <laughs> I don't. They're all effect monsters mostly. So it's not actually wise to me to, for me to put those cards in my deck. Now, if I do put Guardian Angel Joan in my deck, I can go back to having 20 monster cards. I get rid of Buster Blader. It's been real. But I gotta go with something that's gonna benefit me more. Unless I go against a dragon type person, then I'll put you back in. This card is good for defense, I'm not gonna lie. But I already have one like that Ghost Gardener and Kalbeck, which have beneficial effects for me. So, uh, yeah. Bye. I need to remember, I have three X Saber type monsters in my deck. If I have... Wait, no, I have two. So if I randomly have this next to this, I can tribute it and save this one if I want to. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. Um, okay. First things first, we are gonna go take a look at the latest card. Sort by new insect knives going in. Shining Abyss is nice. Nice attack, nice defense, but I need something that is higher than 1800 attack points. I also got Spear Dragon. Oh, special summon went for keepers. Nah. Nah. Spear Dragon. Hmm. Uh, I think it was. I think that was it for the monsters for now. Right, Guardian Angel Joan. Okay, so just two new monsters: Gravekeeper Servant. Mm, do I still use this card? I don't want it to mess up anything in a crucial moment. Trap hole. This is actually not a bad card. If my opponent successfully number summons, flip summons, or special summons a monster, its attack points is half as long as that monster remains on the field. Which is nice because I have seen some stuff. So it's a nice trap card to have for now. Oh, this is a nice card, but no. Mm, your opponent discards a card from their hand to the graveyard, they lose 500 points. This would be a nice combination with Robin Goblin, where if I do damage to my opponent's life points, they'd lose a card from their hand. That would be a nice combination with this. Uh, right, penalty game, yes! We're gonna, tra we're gonna test you out. And if I really need it, I'll use Wall of Revealing Light. And I'll pay like, I don't know, 2,000. Although the monsters I'm scared of are higher than 2,000, so I don't know if I want to risk 3,000 life points. Unless I can get it back. Huh, not a bad card. My opponent loses life points equal to the number of cards on their side of the field. And the cards that they have in their hand times 200 points. 
Mm, I mean, okay. I need to get rid of two monster cards. Uh, I have talked about this I'm keeping because there are so many. Every face down monster I have seen so far has been an effect face down monster. So I'm keeping this card. Definitely. Spear Dragon is a good addition to my deck. I just need to make sure I can protect it for the turn that it flips. And, the, and just that. Uh, Kelbeck is also good. I need it. This card is a nice 1850 attack points monster. Ghost Gardena is also good for me. Fossil Tusker is good because whenever I destroy a monster, they lose 400 points. Dark Valkyra is, is good as long as I can get its effect to work. As long as I can use it to just attack, that's fine. Um, I think since so far, I'm gonna go based on what I've witnessed. Every time I summoned Twin Barrel Dragon from the beginning of the game until now, still in the beginning part of the game, the coin toss which is just one coin toss because it only works when you summon it it only worked I don't think it worked at all now that I think about it it never worked so as much as I would love for the coin toss to work it never worked all the times that I summoned this card in every duel I summoned it so it has 1700 attack points the only reason why I kept it was because of its effect its, it's effect never works for me so we're getting rid of it. This card has a good advantage if it attacks a monster. If it gets attacked, terrible disadvantage. And honestly, I don't want to sacrifice this Saber card to keep this safe. So we're getting rid of it. Now, we're good. We're good. I can make do with these effects. All of these monsters are good. They have good effects that can help me out. I just need to protect Spear Dragon and Dark Valkyra, and I'll be able to use their effects constantly. So that's it for the monsters. Uh, Ordeal of a Traveler, I want to get rid of it because every time I used it, immediately my opponent always knew what card I had in my hand. So forget about it. Fucking cheaters, I swear. <laughs> So that's one trap card gone. I don't want to have too many trap cards either. Just enough to make up for the fact that I have nine spell cards. Uh, two dust tornadoes. I'm going to keep them. Uh, let's see. Defensive draw. Activate only during damage calculation. Damage becomes zero. And I draw one card. It's a perfect benefit. I'm keeping this. Magical arm shield. So far, based on the new, new, the two new trap cards that I added, which affects my opponent's monsters, I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, or hang on, Kunai with Chain has two good effects. It's a 500 attack points boost. This one is a 700 attack points boost. 700 attack points boost. Battle position flip, battle position flip, 5-4 attack points boost, and another boost! Too many equips, too many equips. Um, I would say they can still help me. Also, this one is also another boost. <laughs> I think I'll get rid of Magical Arm Shield, because... Very rarely I was in a position where my opponent had more cards and whenever I was I never drew this card so it never helped me I'll keep it like this 41 cards I'll, I'll keep it like this we have Gravekeeper Servant now yeah we're good it's fine not too many spells, not too many trap cards, 
I mean, they're all going to help me. All these trap cards are going to help me. So, yeah, we're going to leave it like that. Save the deck recipe. Yeah, this is a much better deck. Okay. Save right here. Uh, I was going to try to see if I can get one more duel in just to test this deck, but knowing that these opponents are literally, they make me take forever in any duel, it's kind of risky if I try doing one more duel, but I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. One more, one more duel against someone I haven't faced before. We're gonna go down south to the next new area. Oh, 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 I barely saw this person there. Hello, person. A duel with me? Uh, okay, I'm not ex exactly confident, though. Sure. <laughs> Watch him have a powerful deck, too. <laughs> I think I can squeeze this duel in and then end the stream there. 512. Oh. Perfect. Alright, here we go. Let's test out the newest addition. No Synchro Summon. I like it. I like this start a lot. I like this start a lot. We have two good security cards right here. Right now, though, we're going to manipulate the next five cards, because I'm going to need it. I'm, I'm not going to use these two cards yet. Vampire Lady! Oh! Oh no, she can attack my life points directly, as long as she is lower than 2,000. Oh my. This is just for one turn though, thank god. But uh... It's only 1500, but I don't want to take any chances. I want to keep my life points, my precious life points, for as long as possible. <laughs> okay. No trap cards, please. Yes! Okay, we're getting some, some decent things here. I can change the battle position again of a card, and if this card gets destroyed, I can destroy one monster on the field. Nice effect. Kalbeck. We're flipping this. We're gonna try to see if we can get this done quick. We're gonna take control of the next couple of cards. Guardian Angel Joan! Oh my! If I can get this on the field, but for safety, we're getting Dust Tornado first. Dust Tornado first. And then. Guardian Angel Joan, Dark Valkyria, Tuner, Fossil Right now we're gonna try to get these monsters to stay on the field for Guardian Angel Joan to be used. So Big Eye, I mean, for now both of them can stay on the field and stall. 2800 attack points. We're gonna equip it with Fairy Meteor Crush so that we can do some good damage here to his life points. Well, there's no trap cards on the field, so this is going to hurt a lot. Trying to get this done carefully, but at the same time quickly. <laughs> Let's see if it's possible. 
this was a nice turn and then if he sets a card face down because those four cards in his hand are not trap cards if he sets one face down I'll destroy it with this tornado oh that's it tell me that's it that's it okay I can actually get this duel finished I I would love to use this card but because it says one face of monster on the field it's going to affect my monsters because there's no other face of monsters on the field so I'm just putting this face down so that when I get Garden Angel Joan I can sacrifice Kalbeck and that card all right let's inflict some good damage to his life points again Pyramid Turtle okay he's gonna stall me for a little bit he's gonna special summon another Pyramid Turtle maybe yeah all right nice job you stalled me a little bit but we got this we got this next turn I think third copy right yeah Okay, we got this, we got this, we got this. God, you're taking forever to- oh god, not again. Wait, you're doing this on- what? Why? You're doing this on Pyramid Turtle? But... I mean... Oh... Are you doing it on... What was the point? This is one of those moments where the bot just messed up completely. Okay, we're gonna switch the battle position. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we have... Guardian Angel Joan! Let's get you on the field! I like this! My deck is so much better right now. I only lost once this entire episode. So good. 1400 and then 2800. Yep. Yeah, duel over. Perfect duel. Didn't lose a single life point. Okay. I'm liking the direction that my deck is heading in. Nice! That was less than seven minutes. Beautiful! All of this is worth it because I'm preparing myself for, you know, when I continue progressing with the story. Yeah, I thought I'd lose. How can I ever- how can I- Oh, he's gonna give me a card? Sometimes they do do that. Oh, it's that card! Overpowering Eye. So if I want to make a zombie deck, this is what I gotta do. All right, I am feeling pretty confident the more I duel, but yeah, these, these guys are, my gosh, these guys are, they're tough, they are tough, oh my god, I like it though, this is a nice new challenging Yu-Gi-Oh game, definitely. So, yeah, that is it for tonight's stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you to everybody that was able to stop by. I am going to, at some point, one of these days, I'm going to send this, or parts of it. I'm going to do some editing um, for the beginning parts. Um, I'm going to upload this on YouTube. And... Yeah, it was pretty fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We got five victories, one loss, and my deck is looking better and better. I like it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by, and you guys have a good night, and if things go as planned, I should be able to stream on Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And I'm going to figure out if I'm going to be able to play a new Zelda game or what of my other games I'm going to be playing 
But yeah, the Yu-Gi-Oh! happened already, so this weekend is going to be two different games that I'm going to be playing that are new games that I haven't tried before. So, yeah. But yes, we're going to be streaming on Twitch this entire week. So, yes, just a heads up. So thank you guys so much for stopping by, and have a good night!